this is the good travel cord of the deer been coming from down this way filtering out. I got the power line right here. That's the power line goes up to my food plot a couple hundred yards up. They've been running this ridge over here getting out to my neighbor's bean field so I'm hoping we get something come out today and we'll give it a whirl. I got that on tape. I couldn't see in this damn viewfinder. I just smoked that doe. 46 yards. But I'm a little bummed out. I got to the tree where the deer was and the viewfinder is so small. I could see the log across there in it and I knew I was in the right spot. I zoomed in just above the log, made the shot, and now watching the tape. I think the branches are, are in the way of the video. The hit was good, but the branches, the leaves. She was feeding down that ridge and I knew she was gonna go further away. And I really needed to kill some of these does. So at the risk of not getting the greatest video, I took the clean shot. I'm certain she's up on that hill dead. I hit her a little back behind the pocket. But I know it got the lung and a liver. We'll find out when we recover it, but in the heat of the moment, you don't always remember exactly where you hit. I can tell you, these fire knocks embed in your brain where you hit. There's just there's just no two ways around that. The fire knock is unbelievable. I picked up about two or three yards or so off those arrow veins. So they're not a gimmick, it's the real deal. Thanks, George. Appreciate it, buddy. I've got deer all around me. But I really want to go track that deer I shot before dark, so I just called my wife, told her to bring the kids down, have the kids walk in the power line right here to help me track it, and that'll scare the deer off when they come walking in. I'm talking about right there at 40 yards, I've got two deer. I've got one right up here in front of me, and there's still one up there, I think it's the yelling for the doe I shot, milling around in that hill up there. It was milling around out there where the doe I shot went for a while. I thought maybe it, that the fire knock was sticking out of the deer glowing and it was freaking him out because it kept just walking around a circle up there, but I'm guessing that's where mommy is, but just in case, I want to get tracking while I've got about 40 minutes of light, so. 
Any minute now, Jen and the kids will be pulling up in the SUV. And then when the kids walk in, it'll spook the deer out of here. Pretty good plan, huh? Alright, we're tracking the blood trail. Very vague on them leaves, right? I don't know if the camera picks it up, but... Oh boy, this blood light from Primo sure picks it up. They get the last blood till we find more, right, bub? Yep. Where is the last blood? Right there on that leaf, see it? Yep. Stay right there until I find more. I don't know if she turned up right here or stayed down. We ran out of blood. But I want to come over here. I want you guys to see something. Can everybody see that red arm, that red fire knot glowing down there? Oh yeah, I see it. See it? Yep, I see it. Look at that thing glowing. Oh yeah. With this lack of blood trail in this dusk woods. Look at that. What? Look at that fire knot standing out, man. I think that is my deer heaped up there. It didn't break off. That's in the deer. That's it, that's it. I see it still. That's good, Dad. I did get her in the liver. Hit her back. Nice, though. But what do you think of that? Nice. That's fire knock for you, baby. Just found my deer.